any cubic mono 4 ultra decided to purchase one of these out of my own money for making miniatures i was looking at the elegu mars 4 ultra but the reason i didn't go for it is because i've got a saturn 4 ultra and it's a great printer but i can't stand the double decker build plate it's a nightmare to clean and also they're a nightmare to replace the lcd screens on so i purchased this instead Who doesn't love the smiley face with any cubic? Let's just hope my face stays smiling when I use it and I don't run into any problems. Instruction manual. Now that we'll need it. There's your tiny little bill plate, but like I said, I only want this for doing miniatures. Your vat. Tiny little vat. Nice tiny little printer. Just hope it's as good as the reviews I've been reading. The one thing I don't like about it, and I'll be honest, is there's no exhaust system on you, so you can have ventilation because this will be kept in the spare room of my house. Um, the only thing I might do is drill a small hole in there or 3D print a riser. I'll figure something out. But yeah, biggest letdown is there's no extraction port on this machine like you get with the Elegoo Mars. But like I said, the reason I didn't go with the Mars is because I don't like the build plates and the machines are a nightmare to take apart for a consumable item such as the LCD screen. Otherwise, I would have stuck with Elegoo because the customer service is phenomenal with Elegoo, I gotta say that. In the box that came with it, we have a USB, your power adapter, a couple of paper filters and rubber gloves. That's for the screen protector. Your plastic spatula, the vat screws, and a couple of Allen keys, and a metal scraper just to use to get the prints off the bill plate. Screen protector is in this bag. Wondered where it was. Fitting the screensaver is straightforward. Just use the provided alcohol wipe to make sure the screen is free from any dust, etc., or grease. And then use the sticky pad on top to lift up any little particles of dust that may be on the screen and you should get a bubble free screen protector.
gently use the spatula to squeeze out any trapped air under the screen protector, slowly pushing it towards the edges. Now level in the build plate for the first time, use the piece of paper that is provided and undo the screws on the top so the plate is loose. And remember to remove the protective film off the build plate before you start. Press leveling on the LCD screen and wait until the build plate reaches the bottom. Now tighten the allen bolts on opposite sides from each other like if you was doing a car wheel nut up while firmly pressing down on the plate. Then check the paper, it needs to be tight but not too tight and the same pressure on all four corners. Then just press finish on the LCD screen and remove your paper while the build plate goes back to the top. I'm just doing a quick LCD screen exposure test to make sure the printer is working fine, which it is absolutely. So just do that on the panel if you need to, but my screen is working 100%. It's also a good idea to place a piece of paper over the top so you don't damage your eyes with the ultraviolet light. The only problem, we got ACF, which I will no doubt end up changing. Let's start the first print on this printer. Now it is set up. It is a 75mm miniature, the Enter from Bloodborne. This is the first print on this new printer, so let's see how good it is. Hopefully it is set up correctly.
Right, we'll put the lid back on and we'll come back later and see how it's doing. Successfully printed. One Bloodborne Demon Slayer Mini, well 75mm Mini. Successfully printed for the first time on my new Anycubic Mono 4 Ultra. These are the models I have just printed out on my Anycubic Mono 4 Ultra. These are 75mm miniatures that I have printed on my new Anycubic Mono 4 Ultra. I'm really happy with the print quality. The printer is set up and printing perfectly and I haven't had a fail yet. So I will be printing a lot more miniatures with this printer, that's why I bought it. So if you're into printing miniatures or tabletop gaming, please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and please leave a like.